And 307 ambulances commissioned by the president are currently operational and have been dispatched to the various constituencies. My colleague AC Benewa Nyami Otu uh, engaged uh, emergency medical technicians on the life-saving devices and techniques in, in the emergency system. I am in one of the uh, ambulances and I really want to know exactly what is in here. The car is fully air conditioned and um, I have here with me uh, Ni Norte and he has been one of the key people who have trained these uh, paramedics actually to give care to people who will need the services uh, of the ambulances. Thanks so much for joining us. You have to take us through what is in this. Uh, basically, this is a... Uh this is our setup in the pre-hospital setup. And what happens here is that we have to take care of the patients first before we transport to the definitive care. Now we have here some equipment. We have, this one is an infusion pump. What it does is that uh, most of the, the IV that we see, the fluid that we see, yeah, we connect it to it and this does the pumping to the patient or the casualty. Yeah, now we have, uh, this one is called a fetal monitor. These are for uh, children, uh, new birth. Uh, this is a monitor that monitors their pulse, their respiration, everything. Now we have the monitor itself. This is for the adults. This monitors your BP, your uh, uh, pulse rate, your respiration, everything about the patient. It tells us more. So this is what we use to know what is going on in you, the patient. So if your pulse is high, we know that there's something wrong. If your pulse is very low, we know there's something wrong. We have the almighty AED. This is an automated external defibrillator. Why do you say it's almighty? I mean. Yes, this is what brings life back. So you can see from our simulation that the guy went or he, he collapsed. And with the help of the AED, uh, this one, what it does is that when we put a pulse on you, uh, it, give us, uh, it gives us a... Uh, uh, what to do and at the end of the day we have to press a knob that will, will fibrillate the heart so what it does is that it brings the heart back to life and then life still goes on yes we have another one this is the oxygen uh, uh, device here and we have the cylinder here but unfortunately it's not there we connect this to the, the nose of the patient and then we give oxygen this is a suction device in case you have some fluid some fluid, some obstruction. This is what is going to bring it out. So we insert it in your mouth, we plug the machine on, and it sucks everything that is in your mouth. What really went into the training? Uh, basically, when we recruit, first of all, we publish it. People uh, apply for it, and then we take them to training. And what goes on there is a lot. We basic life support, advanced life support from the scratch, how to save life. It's, it's, it's a school itself. It's not a, a three months, it's some two years, some one year. You go through it, and when you complete, you have to come even to the station for uh, training, and then go to the hospitals to learn more there, and then you come out as an EMT. So a lot goes into that one day. Yeah. You have trained some of these people. How positioned are they, or are you, uh, to ensure that this or these ambulances are put into good use? Uh, you know, when we're doing the training, this, um, we have some of these equipments there that we take them through. So when even they go to the hospitals, we go there to monitor them. And in monitoring them, we know the kind of work they do there. That tells us that this person can do it, this person needs more training. Those who need more training, yes, we take them back, we train them more, and then we bring them back. So we know that really those who come out that's ready to work, they will do that. Well, so um, as you have rightly heard, they are well positioned to serve the medical needs of people who will need the services of these ambulances.